Yeah, all right, guys, welcome back to Rule the Street. In the last episode, we unleashed the beast that is Ola Ogunyemi onto the world of FIFA Street and played our first couple of kickabouts. Now we're about to play Rivaldo, feeling quite confident about this now. Feel like we've really got to know the team quite well. So, I don't know who to pick out here. I think we'll go Klaus Jensen. Who's served me quite well so far? As is Clinton Morris. I'm tempted to use Rao as well. Well, I haven't used so far. We'll, we'll go with Kilban. Oh, and their team is uh, ratings wise twice as good as ours. So, this will definitely be our toughest test of the series so far. I, I do remember playing this as a kid all those years ago that it took me quite a few attempts. I have to say, frustration ensued. Certainly, whilst trying to uh, bag myself a Rivaldo, but hopefully this will go a bit better. Loose ball there. Can o Ola's pace? He beats Rivaldo to it. Oh, he's done him as well. Oh my word! What a goal! <laughs> Sit the fuck down, Rivaldo. Ola's done ya. And the back heel from quite some distance as well. One nil. Well, head it in. No. Oh, Kilban does. Yep, Klaus Jensen had the opportunity to head the ball into an empty net there. And we've got a game breaker. Ola to make it free from the game breaker, surely. Close range. No. I aimed that right in the corner, you bastard. Oh, it's a bit of a sweaty one, guys, but it's 3 0. It's Klaus Jensen. And once again, everyone's on the score sheet, sharing the goals around. Got a game break here. This is looking promise at Ola Skins, too. Surely this time he'll make no mistake from the game breaker. And, oh my god, the keeper nearly saves it again, but it is. It's 4 0. We're one away from securing our first upgrade. We're one away from getting Rivaldo. Oh, can we force it in? We can! Klaus Jensen forces it in. A bit of a scruffy one to finish it off with, but 5-0, we have done it. We have got Rivaldo at the first attempt. And even if we'd have taken more attempts there, he, he, he doesn't cost anything to challenge, so... It's just, it's just good that we've got him first time, I suppose. 5-0, clean sheet, our first one of those as well. Very promising for the whole series, very pleasing. So in order to add Rivaldo we're going to have to replace someone but at this early stage that really isn't much of a problem is it? Um, Delgado, I never really wanted him to begin with. And he is one of the lower rated ones as well, not that there's a lot in it of course. Delgado, yeah, never really wanted him, weren't going to use him. Definitely will be using Rivaldo though, over a thousand skill builds. Nice, couple of unlocks, thank you. Yeah, there's a few more options there as to players to get from Marseille. Um, before we go any further, I think we're going to upgrade Ola a bit. Before we start thinking about new teammates, we need to make sure that Ola himself is good enough to play in such a lustrous company. Which of course he is, of course he is, but... Just need to give him a few more boosts. Uh, let's have a look at Rhea. Oh my! I hadn't looked at Rio before, but Yakubu is unlocked. Why not go for him? We must give Rivaldo his debut in his homeland of Rio de Janeiro. Alongside Klaus Jensen. What an odd looking team that is. And theirs is significantly better. It's more than... Well, Rivaldo's team was twice as good as mine and we managed to beat them 5-0. Hopefully we'll be able to do it again. But I've, I think this is going to be quite a, quite a tough one. Even tougher. Uh, but welcome to Rio, guys. First time in the series that I've shown you somewhere other than Marseille. It was Marseille is pretty dull, in my opinion. Rio looks a lot better. Uh, Rivaldo to get things going. He loses immediately, of course. Um, oh, my God, and they've taken the lead already. Holy shit. <laughs> Nick the ball from kickoff, and they're scored. Come on, Ola. You've got this, Ola. Nice little combo going here. Come on, Ola. Oh, he's hit the post. 
And now they're in at the other end, and they're going to double their lead. Oh, that's sod's law, isn't it? That's typical of real-life football, if anything. That was a great tackle there, but the ball's going to run to bloody hell. <laughs> he didn't take no for an answer there. Yang Collar, I think it is. Seven or eight foot of him. He's taller than the goal on this game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear, what a shitty goal that is. Yakubu takes a swing. The defender half blocks it. If it spoons up into the air, hits Kenny's knee and goes in. Well, not looking good this one, guys. Can we at least get on the board? We're close to a game breaker here, but so are they. Oh, we've got our game breaker, but presumably they'll get theirs as well. From this attack, and they will. So hope for, hopefully we can win the ball here and get ours in first, to at least get on the board, get a consolation goal. They've got the ball again though, make that tackle, brilliant tackle, stay in the game for a few more seconds. Come on Klaus, come on Klaus, oh no, the button didn't work, I press you, it didn't work, they've fed your Kubu now and surely this is all over. Feed the Yak, and indeed with a right footed volley into the top corner he does score. 5-0 to me against Rivaldo, I've just been 5 0 myself. Bit off more than we could chew there, hoping we could get Yakubu. You know, to have a little bit of Nigerian chemistry with Ola, but sadly not to be. We've we've got one upgrade in this episode, sadly not the other. But uh, the next thing that we probably ought to look at is uh, the Marseille tournament, the first of the eight tournaments needed to win the game. We'll upload We'll upgrade even Ola's stats to make sure that the team is good enough to qualify for that tournament and should have enough here. We've got to leave ourselves 500 skill builds as well as the entry fee. And let's have a look. Yep, indeed we're bang on. 